Well, we greet you in the blessed Holy Ghost. I'm Brother Dwayne, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Cry for America. We are brought to you by the Shekinah Family Worship Center, where Pastor Fields is our leader. We can be reached on the phone at area code 313-300-6457, or find us online under The Cry for America. We're on Facebook, Rumble, YouTube, and the Podbean Podcast. Please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. Leave a like, a comment, a thumbs up. Share it across your social media platforms and help us to let this word of God go forth as we are documenting God's servant, Apostle Quow, as he is ministering here in Detroit, August 26th of 2024, ministering on building your life with the treasures of heaven. Ah, uh, what a way to build. What a way to walk with God. Let's go now to Apostle Quow. Take your Bible with me and let's go to the book of Philippians. You see, I didn't plan that. But you see, I, I like it when I don't have to plan it. <laughs> so that y'all don't blame me that he sat down and thought out and then thought about me. How are you going to attack me? <laughs> oh, I tell you, that's one of my major problems I get. People think I sit down there and plot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, but I, that, that, well, you are talking about me. You, you, why, you, I don't like that. I said, what, what do I talk about you? I'm just talking Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Oh, I tell you. If you don't want Holy Ghost to expose you, then, then do what is right. Now, here. I want to just say uh, something about this one. Philippians chapter 3, no, chapter 2. Okay, you see, we, we talk about this, I think the last Sunday, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, God, God works inside you and then you work it out. Right. All right, okay. It says here, verse 12, Therefore, my dear ones, as you have always obeyed my suggestions, so now, not only with the enthusiasm you will show in my presence, chapter, uh, chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Anybody out there that wanted, or what, the, 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 the page? All right. All right, all right. You are welcome, bro. <laughs> he says here, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Therefore, my dear ones. My who? Dear. My dear one. That's how dear you were to the apostle's heart. Mm -hmm. Apostle, I tell you, the words he uses for God's children. The guy says, I'm coming to you with the meekness. The meekness of Christ. <laughs> oh, yes, God. All right. Therefore, my dear ones, as you have always obeyed my suggestions, so now, not only with the enthusiasm you will show in my presence, but much more because I am absent. All right? Work out. Cultivate carry out to the goal and fully complete your own salvation with reverence and awe and trembling, self-distrust, yeah. with serious caution, tenderness of conscience, watchfulness against temptation, timidity, or timidly shrinking from whatever might offend God and discredit the name of Christ. Wow! Shrinking from whatever might offend God and discredit the name of Christ. Not in your own strength. Build your salvation, but not in your own strength. For it is God 
who is all the while effectually at work in you. Energizing and creating in you the power and desire both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisfaction and delight. Yes, amen. And then here is the word. And then I'm going to ask you something about the word last night. Or what, yesterday morning, uh, during the daytime. Mm -hmm. Do all things. How many things? And what is all things? Everything. Do all things. Period. Do all things. Whatever will come your way. Whatever conduct is expected of you. Whatever circumstance confronts you. Whatever trial you have to face. Whatever attack you find yourself in or facing. Whatever the darkness that surrounds you, whatever the circumstance, right? Do all things without grumbling and fault finding and complaining among, oh no, we ain't finished, and complaining against God and questioning. And doubting among yourselves. Now, now hear me now. Why do believers grumble and whine and question and doubt? Why is it? All right? Because they don't understand the God they are dealing with. Who has orchestrated the circumstances of their life. All right? They don't know. Okay? Now remember what we heard yesterday. Remember who will remember what your conduct, your righteous conduct, your, your, your loving conduct, your merciful kindness. Who will remember that the merciful kindness of God is something so precious that the using of your finances to bless people, all right, is such a precious thing in heaven's eyes. And that you are using your financial blessings from God to purchase eternal spiritual riches. Who, knowing this, that do all things, will you do all things now grumbling? Will you not going to do all things whining? Try not to. Are you not going to do all things complaining and blaming? When you do that complain and grumble and blame, who suffers? You do. Are, are, are you hearing? Mm -hmm. Amina. Uh, yeah, you don't have to say Amina. You don't have to say Amina. <laughs> We don't have to come say I mean that because I know you ain't gonna say it. Are you hearing me? Amen. Knowing what the Lord revealed to us, did you ever know that every conduct of yours which is not sanctified, which is unclean, which is contrary to God, goes against you? Takes away from your mansion that's supposed to be built in your name on your behalf. Every complaining attitude subtracts everything from your mansion. Every grumbling attitude you display before God, heaven notices it and they destroy your mansion. Nothing of a complaining attitude is ever used as a material for construction. Are you hearing me? Yesterday, you all didn't hear. The Lord said, okay, all the, all, all the, the, uh, what, the material that you all bring to him, he, he selects mm -hmm. among everything that, okay, all the conduct, all the distance, he selects the best one. 
the one that is clean and pure yeah. to direct it towards the construction of your mansion. Yeah. And you tell me that of, uh, as of now, from now onwards, you complain? Mm -hmm. You tell me from now onwards, you'll be, you be selfish? Mm -hmm. You'll be, you be stingy? Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't, you don't become stingy against me or against any man, against your brother, against nobody. Mm -hmm. You are stingy against your own self. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You see, when you, when you are told to do something and you murmur, you complain. Hey, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere right now. I'm going somewhere right now. Now listen, husband and wives, you better stop complaining. Because it goes against your mansion. It subtracts from everything God is doing for you in heaven. It's a bad attitude. Ooh. I went there. <laughs> I went there. Big time. Are you hearing me? Oh, ain't, ain't no ain't, ain't no married married woman or married man online. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No more. No more complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. You are honest. Amen. Oh, yeah. Some of you are complaining like the devil, but you shut up your mouth. <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want a beautiful you know, mansion in heaven. I go to prepare a place for you, right? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come for you. All right, but what you didn't understand is that the mansion that he said that there are many of them in my father's house, it is built by you, your conduct and attitude, all right, that the Lord uses for the angels to construct the, the, the mansion for you. So if you like now, you are free to complain. All right, go ahead and complain now. Go ahead and murmur, secret murmuring. <laughs> Oh, God is good now. I said, God is good. Now I came. <laughs> he, said, he said, go back and tell them. Now that I have revealed what, what takes place, what heaven is looking for. To co construct your dwelling place, spiritual mansion in heaven, awaiting you. What it takes. All right? And now you want to complain, go ahead. That woman you gave me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, the husband you gave me. And the woman you, yeah, 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 the woman you gave me. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the word of God is a dangerous word. I tell you, he said it will, exp it will find you. If you have a man led by the Holy Ghost in the preaching, you can't hide. Okay, and I have asked God, every unclean thing in my being must die. Yes, Clean me up so I can be clean and pure with the word of God coming in its purity, yes, God. in its truth. Yes, it is the Lord who is the preacher. Mm -hmm. But he needs, he needs cleansed vessels in whom he dwells. So here. Yeah. Do all things. Now you understand? Mm -hmm. now, 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 when you look at Colossians, you know, and this, he says, uh, whatever you do, okay, do it as what? As unto the Lord. But you are doing it and you are murmuring. Is it unto the Lord? Jesus. When you are, you are doubting the Lord, huh? Is your attitude something that God can use? No. Your doubting Thomas attitude. Mm, Jesus, no. You see that? Brethren, yesterday's word is a very dangerous word. Mm -hmm. And the very word that will help you yes. prepare for heaven. Mm -hmm. You want to go to heaven? Amina. Then listen to what God said yesterday yes. about the judgment seat. 
and the materials he needs to construct your mansions. You provide him with a, with a good conduct. You, pro, you, 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 you provide him with, your, with your, uh, your riches, your earthly riches that you have given out to bless people in his name. Your finances you use to bless his name. This one has nothing to do with prosperity. It has nothing to do with give me this and get this. Oh no. You are freely out of your being knowing that your giving is what God is looking for. Your genuine giving out of your heart towards God. Not for a man. All right? If a man, if a man is greedy, all right, and he comes to steal from you, the judgment of the Lord is upon him. Greedy, greedy, lying spirits that come to lie and deceive to take your money. I tell you, the judgment of God is right there upon them because they are liars. They, are, they don't have your welfare okay, at heart. They only look for what they can what, what, uh, 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 accumulate you know, from the offering that you give them. That's it. Somebody you know, heard or not, uh, told me something about you know, in a huge meeting that was, uh, what was organized in a place how they were, they were crying for people to bring their needs, your list, your distance and that and bright. We're going we're gonna, to you know, cry to God for your this and then we all went and bring a thousand dollar line, five hundred dollar line, you know, hundred and all these things, the lines. There are people running there because they, they need help. Mm -hmm. And then they go in there, you know, bring the offering, bring their list. Their list, you know, to, they, they are going to take before God and go and do this and go and do that. All right, they collected all the, all the money with all the sheets, all the list of the papers that the people wrote their list on. All right, and then to the down to the basement of the building that that they were meeting in, they went down there, and then left all the prayer requests down there. Took the money. You you believe you think such people will ever see heaven? No. They are not cursed people, liars. Jesus. Do everything without grumbling. So you give good material. You see, when the thing is tough, but in the name of Jesus, you stand tall, and by faith you press on, not allowing the devil to cast you down, by using the name of Jesus to fight and go forward. That's the kind of material that the Lord wants. Boldness, clean faithfulness. Did he not say, you know, you know, no, no, that the, the, the material in, includes our the spiritual life, the life we lived, yes. all right, how holiness you not know, took place in our life, mm -hmm. or what the merciful kindness of God, and our attitude, our character. So why are you going to murmur and complain? Mm -hmm. Now you understand yeah, yes. that everything that you do all right, if it is done in the correct spirit and attitude, God will use it as a material from you, you know, in a submitted to him for the construction of your mansion. Are you hearing me? So there's no need, there's no need for you to complain and murmur, oh my goodness. Praise the Lord when it is tough. Praise him. Sing to him. Thank him. Bless Holy Ghost. Bless you. You don't know, but, but you don't know, but you, you are going to have to learn. Bless the Holy Ghost. You blast until your innermost being is filled with peace. It filled with strength. Then you move on. So he said, do all things without grumbling and fault finding and complaining against God and questioning and doubting among yourselves. Why? So that you may show yourselves to be what? Blameless and guileless. No deceit. Innocent. Ah, uncontaminated children. Aha. Thank you, Lord. 
children who are clean and pure in their conduct, in their attitude, holy lives. Don't you understand that holiness gives out a fragrance? Ah, the holy life of Christ is a sweet smelling fragrance. His sacrifice of his pure life. Whoa, whoa, was so sweet to the Father's nostrils. And when we want to offer some sacrifice, let's turn to God, it stinks. Because of uh, complaining and murmuring, everything that we, we do just stinks. God cannot use any of that, our attitude to even, you know, build, build a, 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 a mosquito net. <laughs> God, God cannot use your attitude to your stuff that you attitude not gives to build even a mosquito net for you to sleep under. God, it's all unclean. All right. So now, please understand this message. This, this, this one here. In the line of what we heard, your attitude should be completely, you know, consecrated to God. No complaining. No lying. No, no murmuring, no blaming nobody. Amen. Right? Just simply, for the sake of the Lord, conduct yourself with purity. With that, listen, young ladies and women, all right, that you are coming up, don't let them, them men, don't dress because you want to go to church, go and look for a man. Don't do that. Because that is an unclean thought, unclean mind. Unclean motive. Don't do that. God will not use any of those unclean attitudes to build any house for anybody. Amen. Dress like a righteous holy woman. Yes, you yourself, you know, you know what to, how to dress as a right holy woman who fears God. How are you going to expose yourself? How are you going to paint your face? How are you going to wear some jewels and earrings and this thing just to be your beauty? No, no, no. Quite tanta. That is that's insania to the maximum, de maximum degree. Holiness. Humility. Oh, my God. You know, say, this is the way, this is the way that, that the holy women, oh, of old, used to dress themselves. Come on, Sarah, your mama, Sarah. And all them women who used to serve God, this is how they conducted themselves, with meekness and humility and the fear of God. What is the, what is the let me ask you, what is the number one characteristic of the, of the Proverb, uh, Proverb 31 woman? What is the characteristic? Number one. Is it her, her beauty? Is it her, any other thing? But the woman that fears the Lord, she's the one that will be, glory, will, will be praised. Not her beauty. The fear of the Lord in that woman's heart. That was the engine, the motivation factor of the woman in Proverbs 31. I hear you think God don't love that, that, that conduct. That's how a woman should appear. She's hardworking. She's everything else, but above all, she fears God. It is the fear of God that, that activated all her characteristics, all her talents were used to serve God and by serving those in her household. Ah, brethren, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying this. Look at what it says. That you may show yourselves to be blameless and guileless innocent and uncontaminated children of God without blemish. Wow. Without, so, so what? So the, 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 these things, uh, what? The, the, the grumbling and fault finding and complaining against God and questioning and doubting among yourself. These are blemishes on your character. Whoa! This, 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 this uh, appear to stain your character. Wow! Who will love a, a woman like that, full of blemish, or a man like that? 
Are you hearing me now? So he says here, uh, that you may show yourself to be blameless and guileless, innocent and uncontaminated children of God without blemish, faultless, unrebukable. Ooh. You want to find something to rebuke, you can't find. You want to find something you can talk against, you can't find. Ooh. Did, they, did, they, did they find something about, about Daniel? They say, hey, this Daniel. Unless we find something, we, we make up something from his God's law. <laughs> the law of his God. We ain't going to have nothing against him. Because he's right. Doing everything right. But everything he, he doing is right. So we have nothing, no fault against him. So let us use his God, his God's law. Okay, so that we can tackle him and bring him down. So what can what is the law? How can anybody, you know, in these 30 days who, who will pray to his God? Look at that. He, he didn't want him to pray to his God. Can you, can you deny Daniel, his, his, his God? Praying to his God. You tell him, don't pray to your God. Point out Daniel. That was when he went. Ah, uh, he went. He the yeah, 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 yeah. So when, he could be seen. That's right. When, when, when they signed, when the, the king signed the, the, the decree mm -hmm. with, his, with his ring, he sealed it. And then they, they went around. The very, the very day that the decree was signed, Daniel goes to his house. He opens the window wide now. <laughs> and then he kneels down. They talking. He talking to God. <laughs> they came around. He talking to God. You, do you think you can defy the Daniel? And said, don't talk to your God. You might as well kill me. Yeah. This is the kind of you know, conduct that the Lord is looking for. Bold. Mm -hmm. That honors him. Mm -hmm. That stands for Christ. Amen. That is even willing to die if he has to. Amen. I told you before that the Lord asked us. He's talking about how he stood in for us. Mm -hmm. How he came for us. And there was no one to help us. And he stood in and they killed him. And he didn't complain. So maybe there are times you are working for me. I may allow certain things in your life. Stand in when the enemy comes against you. Don't, don't flee. Stand in for my sake. If you, are, if you must die, are you willing to die for me? The Lord asked us. If you must die, are you willing to die for me? Then he says, he said one of the most amazing things, okay? You see, he said, when you, you look at the martyrs who were martyred, you know, during the Roman time, you know, the persecution and everything else, he said they were, they were being burned in the fire, the stake, and they were singing. Mm -hmm. And they were singing and praising God. Right. He, said, he said, do you know what I did? He said, anyone, listen to this, mm -hmm. because a time may come, you may be called to stand in and be burned and be killed, whatever it is. Jesus. But he says, during that time when you stand in for me and you know they are going to kill you, but you are willing to do that for my name's sake, he said, I do something to your body. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> he says, I, I, I do something to your body, strengthen you. So you don't feel what you are going through. Amen. But you have to stand in there. Until you stand, you don't see. But the moment you stand and you know they are going to come for you, that's when I do something spiritually to strengthen you. Are you hearing me? So brethren, don't murmur. Don't complain. It's not good. It goes against you. All right, honor God faithfully. Yes. Sing his praise. Mm. Fear the Lord. Yes. Conduct yourself as a humble vessel of God. You have, don't you understand that the name of the Lord is upon you? Yes. You don't understand? Yes. You are called Christians. Mm. Christ once. Yes. Christianus. Mm. Small Christ. Mm. You are. Yes. You yes. are. The representative of Christ. Mm -hmm. His name is on you. His name. Mm -hmm. So why are you going to dishonor his name? 
Why are you going to allow the devil to, you know, to blaspheme? When you know what God told uh, David when he messed up? When, 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 when Nathan came and said, Thou art the man, hey, hey, thou art the man. He said, oh, I have sinned. Do you hear that? I have sinned. Instant. He didn't, he didn't say, I have sinned against the Lord. And then he said, the Lord also has forgiven your sin. Instant in a confession. Instant what? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Then the Lord says something. However, you see that? Okay, the time of you know, forgiveness is gone. But the sin in impact is there. All right? But he says, for, uh, however, because by what you did, you allowed the enemies to blaspheme my name. Ah. Your conduct cast a slur on me. You are my servant. Your wrong attitude. Your conduct, your, 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 what? Your, your talking and your, your grumbling or this will cast a slur on, on me. Okay? You allow the enemies to blaspheme my name. I must chastise you and discipline you so you don't do that no more. You see the discipline that, 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 that he went through? Have you read the discipline that, that David went through? Wow! Your own son is chasing you out of your kingdom. Your own son is just sleeping with your, 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 your wives, you know, in the open. Ain't can anything be more shameful than this? More demeaning like this? And your son has come to the throne, he's pursuing you. you Want to kill you? Wow. You, you, you read, read. You see, this was the time that Psalm 3 was written. The third Psalm comes out of this when he was being, you know, chased. How, how are, you know, how are the, the, the many that, you know, you, know, you know, that come against me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Many are those who say, who, who say of me, there's no help in God. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Here is a man, listen, listen, listen to this. You will look at Psalm 3. You say, well, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah, but Psalm 3 was written by a man who had repented. Mm -hmm. Amen. You hear that? Psalm 3 was written by a man whose sin God, God forgave. Mm -hmm. But right now he's going through chastisement, discipline. Wow. Okay, so he could call himself, but thou, O Lord. How, how could he still say thou oh Lord mm -hmm. if he had not been repeated, had not repented and God had forgiven him mm -hmm. he still knew God was his Lord mm -hmm. ah yes God so brethren the reason why I, I chose this because the word of God that came last night is very serious mm -hmm. okay? the Lord wants us to come home mm -hmm. and come home into a mansion that has been prepared by him with your contribution of your material blessings down here that you exchange for spiritual blessings mm -hmm. with your finances that you you had on earth okay that you you use for the glory of god that you use to bless the work of god you used to bless you know the brethren the widow the the the, 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 the orphans the homeless okay you know all all these things you use that and in the name of the lord you bless them all right, you bless them for the sake of the Lord. In the Lord's name, you do what you do. These things you are exchanging for spiritual riches. Yes. And these spiritual riches is what God is looking for so he can build your mansion. The more you supply him with these resources, okay, the, the better you are not, or, or the, more, the, the more wonderful your mansion is going to be. I don't know. If I, if I go there, I'm going to look for David's house. <laughs> if John Wesley's in a dwelling place, a whole city. Whoa! A whole city in heaven erected by John Wesley. No, with his riches that he gave to God in the souls that he saved. And God has given him a city. <clears throat> and that city... It's for, it for all those who followed him faithfully, all right, and made it to heaven. 
they also are assigned to his, uh, his city. And that's something. They, they, don't you read in the Bible? All right, he said those who, you know, who use their, their, their talents, God gave them five talents, three talents, one talent. They went in and, and traded. You know, hey, I've, 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 I've gained, you know, five more talents. You gave me five, I added five more. You gave me three, I got three more. Yes. The, other, the other one who, who got one, he didn't do nothing about it. But I said, hey, thou good and faithful, you know, in a seven. Okay, you be, you, because you, you, you made this, okay, come, you'll be, you'll be over five cities. You'll be over ten cities. You hear that? You think those things are just said for nothing? They have their spiritual realities in heaven. So whatever you do here, do it with your heart for God. Whatever you are doing for him, do it with your whole being. Don't do it lazily. Oh no, laziness will never uh, no, no, build your house in heaven. Amen. Oh no, you don't build nothing. Are you hearing me? So whatever you are doing, do it with your, all your heart. Yes, do it as unto the Lord. Do it for, for no man. No, you don't care about if people will say anything about it. No, you don't. All you want to do is you're doing for God. Yes, There's no glory in it. You did it for your Lord Jesus, who did everything for you. All right, so this is what I'm, I'm concerned about. He said, that you may, you may show yourself to be blameless and guileless, innocent and uncontaminated children of God without blemish, faultless, unrebukable, in the midst of a crooked and wicked generation, spiritually perverted and perverse, among whom you are seen as bright lights, stars or beacons shining out clearly in the dark world. You understand this? Let your life shine as a star in the midst of the darkness. Now, how can your light shine when you remember everything that has been prepared for you to walk in? You grumble, you murmur, you say, you are as dark as the devil. How can your light shine? You ain't going to shine with, with murmuring and complaining. You are like the devil. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Oh, brother. Amina. Amina. Hey, where is, where is, where is Pastor Charles? Where is that? Are you gone? So he'll come. <laughs> he come and goes. Go, he's at work. <laughs> oh, yes, God. <laughs> so, brethren, I beseech you by the mercies of God. All right? So, so from now, going, knowing exactly that everything that you do and you do for the Lord with all your heart, there is a big reward waiting for you. We need a city for... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, Pastor, we Pastor Fee, start, start praying for a city for the brethren in Michigan. <laughs> but you, you and I have to live the life. We have to live the life before they can give us a city for the brethren that, that I will come to the kingdom through our ministry. <laughs> you hear me, Einstein? Okay, so whatever you do, brother, do it right. Okay, do it. Hey, when I'm preaching, is it like, am I a lazy guy, a lazy preacher preaching? No. <laughs> brother, I give it my all. Amen. That's it. Yeah. I give it my all. I give the pure word. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna add some mixture to it. No. Because I know. Have you forgotten? Oh, you guys, you all don't. You know, the Paul says, when we are preaching, Okay, so we are not like those, you know, who, you know, who adulterate okay, the word of God. No, 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 but we are those who, you know, you know, who preach, okay, are sincere, okay, before the Lord, okay, standing in the presence of God in Christ Jesus. Can you imagine a preacher preaching and he knows he's standing in the presence of God. God is checking him out in Christ Jesus. God is checking out to see his motives, to see how pure he is, how, how faithful he's going to be to the word of God. Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, I told you before, Paul says, we were allowed to be entrusted with the gospel. We were allowed by God 
to have the gospel committed to us because our motive was not of deceit. There were deceit. We don't preach with, with, with deceitful motives. You want to preach, preach claim. Preach truth. And be true yourself in your conduct. You see that? You, you see that? Yes, so that the most difficult job in the face of the earth is to be a representative of Christ Jesus. To reveal him as he is in your conduct. How can you say I'm going to preach Christ, but your conduct is contrary to Christ's nature? How? That's a lie. Because there's deceit in your, in your conduct. Okay? I, 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 it's very serious. If you're going to talk holiness, make sure you live in holy. If you're going to talk in the righteousness, make sure that you are walking in that very thing you're preaching. Mm -hmm. This is it now. He ain't some, 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 you know, something that we, you know, we uh, 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 conjure and then, we, oh no. This is a life that has been surrendered to Christ and broken. Mm -hmm. And still on the, on, on the brokenness. The process is going on. Amen. Do, 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 have you forgotten what Smith Rukus was saying? Smith Rukus said, listen. Some of you, when I come and preach, you are happy. Okay, you see the power coming forth. You see everything coming forth. And you wonder, why well, I want to be like Brother Smith. Brother Smith. And the power of God, hey, hey, hey. He said, you all don't understand. Okay, so you see the power inside me. You see the power inside me. Okay, it feels like I have been, I have been laid down there flat. And the bulldozer, about a hundred or so bulldozers have gone over me. Breaking every bone or resistance in my being. <laughs> every bone of resistance is broken. It flattened me up. So the Lord have, can have his way. Through. You see that? So the vessel is more important to God. Who you are is important to God. That is why those, oh, I wish I could see the Apostle Paul's mansion. Ooh, can you see that? Ooh, can, can you imagine from what the Lord, the Lord gave us his message yesterday? You just look at the content of the message and imagine. Imagine the Apostle's mansion. Imagine what kind of mansion he is. <laughs> Ooh, my <laughs> Are you hearing me? These guys sold out to Christ. He said, the way we conduct ourselves, people think we are crazy or we lost our mind. But we ain't crazy. We see clear. But there's a power. Ooh, there's a power driving force behind our conduct. A holy power. That flows through our being. Yes, and we cannot resist it. We got to walk and demonstrate Christ. Yes, we are condemned to show Christ. <laughs> Ooh, we've been sentenced to allow Christ to come through our being. Oh, brothers, it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. That's our trust in Jesus. Faith will bring some marvelous demonstrations through you. God, God will do mighty things through those who believe him. Alright? So be obedient children. Be obedient children. Don't murmur. Don't, don't complain. Whatever you are. Did, I, did, did Abraham complain when God gave him that strong, that, that, I mean, that confusion order to take his son go kill him? Wow! God, am I a, am I a carnivore? I'm a, oh no, God, I can't do that. This is not God. Hey, hey, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. <laughs> Abraham rebuking God because no, no, he didn't think it was God who told him. Mm -hmm. Alright? He knew God's voice. He knew it was God that was asking that. And did he what he do? He obeyed. Mm -hmm. Can you? Mm. Will you obey God? When God commands you, oh my Lord, brother, it is, it is, you see, your obedience is so much needed by Christ than anything else. Your obedience to him 
how you obey him is so important so important to him because a little disobedience is like a little leaven that causes the whole lump okay just just to rise up disobedience is sin complete and total so God trains you in obedience I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Any minister who calls himself a minister of God that did not sit at the feet of Jesus Christ for the Lord to train him because the training he gave to the apostles is the same training he will give to you because everything he told the apostles of law, how he taught them, the Lord has taken that through them. Mm -hmm. every every parable that he spoke he has spoken them to, to us and explained everything to us he said that's why he said you have walked with me a day and a half mm -hmm. and you know me at least a little bit mm. oh yes we do know we do know because we saw he demonstrated to us how he walked with the apostles okay and that is the way he wants to walk with us Okay, we are in the eighth year. It's a day and a half, so sixteen years will be two days and uh, what? It will be the three, the three days. <laughs> oh my Lord! Yes, God. So I'm, I'm asking you. All right, obey the Lord. Do all your, even when you are trying to obey and then you falter, repent. Okay, he loves your repentance, genuine repentance. He will start over with you again. Oh, how many times you know we, we how many times you know he was mad with us? <laughs> how many times he was mad with us? That he will rebuke us, God. And then he comes back. Well, son, you know, I had to do that. Mm -hmm. So you understand that if I don't chastise you, I'm not a good parent. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a good parent, but I love you. That's why I chastise you. Yes, Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Nina. So, brother, because he is looking for a good fruit mm -hmm. that will come through you for his glory. Mm -hmm. You see, Nina. that's what he's looking for. for clean vessels that stand for him. That he can call upon any hour. Listen, listen, something. <laughs> I guess, I guess I have shared that. When, when the Lord was looking for me, you know, I was in the, the, the last trip or something. And then, you know, he, the, they called my phone. He said, call your brother. Call him, call my servant. And Paul let him take the phone. So, so I talked to him. And they didn't get to me. And I was gone. I was gone go to sleep. <laughs> I was gone go to sleep. Go. <laughs> the Lord said, he said, okay, let him sleep. Let him sleep. All right, let him sleep. I'll talk to him. And I said, <laughs> he said, how, how, how do you give yourself to sleep like that? And you are my servant. <laughs> Don't you know I can talk to you any hour? And then you sleep, you, you, you must learn how to sleep light. Oh, so nowadays when I'm going to sleep, you know, for some time, I'm going to say, so Lord, I need about two hours. So wake me about two hours time. Exactly, I'm up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, he wakes me at two hours time. Okay? Because he says, you, you don't know the hour that I will come to you and give you something to do for me. So when I need you, I, I must have access to you. You must be available to you all the time. You sleep, sleep light. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> you know those who love deep sleep? <laughs> you see, you are not saying Amina. None of you say Amina. None of you say Amina. 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 Brethren. Okay, so this thing, let me finish this and then go to another, another area. That you may show yourselves to be blameless 
verse 15, and guileless, innocent, and uncontaminated children of God without blemish, faultless, unrebukable, in the midst of a crooked and wicked generation, spiritually perverted and perverse, among whom you are seen. In other words, there should something coming out of you that people see that you are not like them. Amen. A light. A light that shines in the darkness. Yes, that people see that, wow, these guys are not like us. We are, we are consumed with darkness, but they are shining as light unto us. Amen. Among whom you are seen as bright lights, stars or beacons, shining out clearly in the dark world. Holding out, holding out to this dark world and offering to all men the word of life. Yes, God. Amen. You see what we give out? Mm -hmm. The word of life is what we offer to a dying world that lives in darkness. Mm -hmm. In our prosperity, the word of life. Yes, so that in the day of Christ, I may have something of which exultantly to rejoice and, and, and glory in that I did not run my race in vain or spend my labor to no purpose. So that when they see you, that you are shining as light, Paul said, yes, I know I didn't run in vain. Okay, I produce what God wanted in my ministry. You have become shining lights. The people see you and I know I have run my race. I have done what God called me to do. I produce in you the light. I presented you as light, children of light unto Christ. You see that? Mm -hmm. So brethren, I'm saying, and when you appear as children of light, don't you see that that acts, that, 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 that appearance, that character, that conduct, that shines at light, that, is, that, that adds to your construction because you are offering a character an attitude that represents Christ. Yeah. That Christ is Christ's own attitude. Shining as light. Shining bright light. I'm the light of the world. He that follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The light that comes out of life. So when you walk with Christ, when any man says he's a man of God, all right, and he's going to raise you up and you don't come to the place where your inner being is clean and pure as a light shining through you. He ain't help Christ. Christ needs vessels that are pure and clean. Yeah. And if you are going to raise that, listen, if we walk together, something's going to happen you know, to your inside. The within of your being will have to shine. Christ will have to come out of your being because the being of God must be revealed in your being. That's what I'm after. That your inner life will release you know, a brightness of the glory of God. Uh, yeah. uh, the fragrance of God will flow out of your being. Yeah. We are people of God. Our God is light. And we are light also. Reflecting his light. You hear that? Our God is light. And we his children are also light. Yeah. Reflecting the light of our God. Yeah. Ah, yes God. So here, now this is the first, the, the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about, the song, for this, this, I got this, this message, you know, before this thing came into my being. Now listen to this. The song that, you know, we just sang, what gift of grace is Jesus, my redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give. No more. Heaven gave us all the rest of heaven. Christ embodies everything heaven start, you know, stands for. Christ is heaven on earth. Yes. Emmanuel, God with us. Yes. Christ is life. Christ is the light. Christ is the love. Christ is the joy. Christ is peace. Christ, that's it. Yeah. 
The, world, the heaven cannot give in, in anything better than Christ. That's all there is. And there's no better gift to receive than Christ. The embodiment of eternity. The embodiment of eternal life. All that there is in life or, or, or eternal is in Christ. And Christ is the gift that the Father gave to us. So within your being dwells a life that has no end. Within our being dwells this eternal life, everlasting life, a life of glory, a life of power, a life of humility, a life of boldness, a life of amen. Yes, you see, you see. Amina. Amina. All right. Look at this. He says, There is no more for heaven now to give. He is, listen now, He is my joy, my righteousness, and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. You hear that? Let me ask you the question that came to me when well, that well, when they saw that ask them whether the song they are singing is their experience. I'm to ask you whether the song that you we've said, this is said here, here, what gift of grace is Jesus, my redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give now. He is my joy, my righteousness my freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. Is that your testimony? That this is what your life is all about? Because this song, this guy is expressing something that he has experienced. So he's sharing his testimony. Is his testimony your testimony too? You see your boundless peace. Amen. You see, you see your, your, your joy. And we don't talk about joy because you got money. Mm. But joy in the midst of turmoil. Amen. Not peace because your, your bank account is full. No, that's not peace. Because the moment you lose your bank account, you're troubled. So that's not the peace. That's the peace of the world. But the peace, the peace of Christ, boundless and eternal, everlasting, endless peace. Peace, perfect peace. In this dark world of sin, the blood, ooh, the blood of Jesus whispers peace within. That's the peace we're talking about. The boundless eternal peace, the boundless eternal joys, the boundless eternal love. Is this your testimony? You see, we are called to experience and live out a particular kind of life. Do you know that? Salvation brings us kind of catharsis. All right? A new creation. A new creation is a new kind of life. The new creation has its own kind of life. And the kind of life is what brought the song. My, my, my deep, is my, is my joy, my endless joy, my eternal joy, my eternal righteousness, my eternal freedom, my steadfast and eternal love, my deep and boundless and everlasting peace. Because eternal life is what? Everlasting life. What is everlasting, all right, it's endless. You can enjoy it forever. You don't change. Yeah. The quality of eternal life is that it's, it's, it's constantly the same. Mm -hmm. It doesn't wear out. It doesn't grow old. There's no, I, I want to tell you something. Maybe you, you haven't seen it yet. But you, you, you keep on blasting the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You'll be brought into an area where you rather say, wow. That, that this thing is this thing has no end. 
This peace has no end. This love has no end. This joy has no end. Wow. See that? The strength. There is no age in eternal life. I said there is no age in eternal life. Look at God. How old is God? Hey, hey, hey. How old is God? How, anybody know how old God is? <laughs> and now we have been brought into his life. That endless, indestructible life. That changeless, unchanging life. And what, 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 what do we have? Huh? We are growing old in our faces. But our spirit is alive, 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 living, living God. Living God. Are you hearing me now? So, but, so I'm, I'm asking you, is this your testimony? That he is your joy. He is your righteousness and freedom and steadfast love. My deep and boundless peace. All right? And then look at this, the second in a, in a verse. To this I hold. My hope is only Jesus. For, oh my goodness. Listen to that. For my life is wholly, utterly, completely, all right, bound to his. Come on now. Bound to his completely, totally. Here is the abiding that produces this boundless, uh, no, the boundless. Is bound. You are bound to him forever yes. through the abiding. Ah, Jesus. Why does he say we should abide in him and that he will abide in us so that we can go to church and sing in the choir? Yeah. He has promised a life, a life that destroys sin, sickness, infirmity, ah. disease, and death. This is a life that dwells inside us. So for us to be, to be utterly bound to him, we should experience the abiding that he talked about. Abide in me, and I will abide in you. For without me, you can do, you can do nothing. Right? As the tree, as the branches, okay, uh, cannot bear any, uh, any fruit unless they abide in the vine. So you too, you cannot bear any fruit unless you abide in me. Amen. But when you abide in me, the, what, comes to your, your, what comes to your mind? January 23rd. Come on now, come on now. Our power How power comes, how power flows from his being into my being. Insensibly. Insensibly, where the connection of your soul to God is, is one. Where you are bound to him in that abiding time and your soul is linked up with him in, you, in unison, in unity, in union, in oneness. When Jesus came here, do you know that I, I and the Father are one? I and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. I and the Father are one. And can you not say, say I ask the Lord. Lord, can I say, I and the Lord are one? He said, but why am I saying, why did I come? So that man, my brother, man, my brother will be one with me. Man, my brother, I came to redeem man, my brother, fall into the pit of destruction. But I have revived him. I have brought him a new life. So he can be one with me, united with me, as I was one with the father. Do I not, do, why, do, do, why do I dwell inside you? Why do I come and live inside you? So that I, I, we have separate lives? No. Oh, come on, wake up. Mm. What, what, what drink have you been drinking in the house? Coffee? Mm. In the house of God. <laughs> you see, listen. You, the oneness you must experience can only be experienced through blasting in the Holy Ghost. 
I said the oneness you must experience with the Lord God can only be experienced as you blast in the Holy Spirit. As you give time to praying in the Spirit, building up yourself on your most holy faith. Not just going to church and, and singing in the choir and teaching Sunday school. Oh no! By praying the Holy Ghost. Praying the Holy Ghost. Brethren, I got a lot to say. Okay, I, I got a lot to, you know, to share with you. But this reality you must possess. This reality nobody, nobody can live in it for you. And it is your portion to be one with Christ. It is your portion to rise in union with Christ. It is what God has provided for every son of God. You see, you see, you, you read Rich House with me, right? Yeah. What did God show uh, Rich House in the heavens? What did he show? That there is a place, all right, in Christ for all believers to, not to, 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 to dwell in. Yes, yes. But it's in the heavenly place. Amen. And that is in Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2 experience. I, I don't know. I don't know many who you know who walk in that realm. Oh no, because it it, it changes you completely. Now Ephesians chapter two, you are given joint seating. Joint. Oh no. Oh no. Joint seating, seated with Christ in Christ and with Christ seated with Him. And from that realm, you come down to come and save souls. There was a man sent from God. Yes. His name was Pastor Fields. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That, is, that should be our testimony. This new birth, is it not from God? Amen. Is it not from above? Yes, it is. So we came from God from above now. By the new birth in Christ Jesus, Amen. we have received heaven's own spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. We have received heaven's own spirit. The Holy Ghost, where did he come from? You know, from heaven? Yes. So heaven's own spirit now dwell inside us. What do you think he brings to us? Earth? He brings he bring us Detroit? No. Holy Ghost, when I give you Detroit? <laughs> Our Holy Ghost is gonna give you the Holy Ghost will give you Ghana. Uh, Holy Ghost is gonna give you Ghana stuff. Whoa. Brethren, it's time for believers to be serious. Mm -hmm. To be serious, put away the foolishness. If if the pastor you are sitting under is just leading you astray and, and lying to you, get out from there. Go find a place where God will send you. Mm -hmm. Go and sit under someone who knows, who knows God and can guide you home. That is the need of the hour. Right, Men of God who know Jesus, or whom to whom God have entrusted the ability to open up the scriptures to them so they will understand the scriptures and live the life as of them, required of them, so the Holy Ghost will bring them back home to God. Amen. That's the need of the hour. Men of God, women of God that came from God, Born of God and fail with God. Oh, I like that song. Born of God and fail with God. And they talk God. <laughs> I like that. And they sing God. I mean, everything is God. Everything is Christ, 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 Christ. If, 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 we, if we grew the way the Lord you know, has planned it, what kind of people do you think will, will, you know, will be on earth? Some giants. <laughs> giants. <laughs> what kind of men with authority under God, controlled by God, controlled by the Spirit of God, God indwelled them and sent by God with an assignment to go and bring souls to God? Ah. All right, let me. Let me say something. Going to turn. Come, come with me to Ephesians chapter one. Mm. 
Ephesians chapter 1. <coughs> oh, yes, God. All right, Ephesians. All right, this this prayer. You know, you know the first prayer, the prayer in in Ephesians. All right. Okay. So here, yeah. for this reason, verse fifteen. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your and your love. <clears throat> towards all the saints, the people of God, I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. In my prayers. God, Paul says, the things, the things that I'm going to ask for you, I've been talking to God all the time about it. And I have asked certain specific things to be given to you. Paul says, in my prayers, for I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, of insight into mysteries and secrets, in the deep and intimate knowledge of him, right? By having the eyes of your heart flooded with light mm -hmm. so that you can know and understand the hope to which he has called you and how rich is his glorious inheritance in the saints he set apart once. And so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named above every title that can be conferred not you know, not only in this age and in this world but also in the age and the world which are to come wow and he has put all things under his feet and has appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church, a leadership exercised exercise through the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. I tell you, I don't, this, this is a mouthful. But uh, something here, look at what he's asking for. Look at what he's praying for, all right, for the people so that they will experience certain things, okay? Their eyes will be flooded with light. The eyes of their heart will be flooded in light, all right? Do you have that? He, Paul prayed for them that their eyes will be flooded with light, okay, right? so that they may know. Ah, ah, grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation. All right, of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep int and intimate knowledge of him, having the eyes of your heart flooded with light so that you can know and understand, okay, certain, certain things, that, uh, the three things. But I'm, I'm going to ask you this. How do you walk in this? How? Paul prayed for them, all right? Paul prayed for them. Because Paul was alive, he prayed for them. So probably they, they entered into it, okay, during, the, during his time. But us, who will pray for us so that we can also enter into it, all right? But I'm going to tell you something. 
If you are ever going to walk, experience this prayer in your life, all right, everything that you need to do has been provided for you. Everything you need to do to walk in this prayer, these things that are, 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 are what, uh, are, uh, uh, or put down here, okay, these things that have been revealed over here, the things, you know, the flooding of your eyes with the spirit of the re revolution, and now all these things, all this, how are you going to come into them? But there's one way. There is one way, and unless you go by that route, you will never, you know, walk in this. Christ has given you the access into this thing here. It is in the Holy Ghost that we can have access to this. It is in the Holy Spirit that we can have our eyes flooded with light. Even the Holy Ghost, that the spirit of wisdom and revelation. And the more you brush in the Holy Ghost, the more you are enlarged. It is the Holy Spirit that can reveal this in your being. Paul prayed it, but you prayed by the Holy Ghost. You want to walk inside this? That, uh, he says here, the eyes of your, of your spirit flooded with light. Okay, the hope of your calling. All right? And then, and then the, 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 the riches of God's inheritance in the saints. And then the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. We are to know the power that God has towards his, his children. How do you know it? He said, I want you to know it. But the same God gave you Holy Ghost. Yeah. So don't, you see, how do you get spirit understanding of the scriptures? How do you, unless the minister of God, okay, walks in this realm, he can never help you. Unless the, 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 the minister of God is a, is, is a specialist in blasting the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Unless the Holy Ghost tongues is a speci specialty that he spent time with God blasting the Holy Ghost. He can never open up these things to you. But these things are ours. We are to walk in it. We are to walk in this, in this prayer. That is our prayer. But how do you how do you get the understanding and the strength to persevere? You bless Holy Ghost. You bless Holy Ghost. Oh, people of God, listen. I ain't gonna say no more. I ain't gonna say no more. But I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna go here. I ain't gonna say no more. I say I ain't gonna say no more. But I'm gonna say something else. All right? <laughs> because you 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 my you see, I feel so mad. With the devil that lies to the people of God. You got Holy Ghost. Oh, you ain't got Holy Ghost? Yeah. Uh, uh, who, who are lying got no Holy Ghost? Go find Holy Ghost. Go, go to Jesus for Holy Ghost. But if you got Holy Ghost, then what are you doing with the Holy Ghost? What are you doing with the Holy Ghost? Because that's the only one that knows how to open out the scriptures and pour its reality into your being. You must experience this reality. This prayer is a reality. Paul knew it. Paul walked in it. So he prayed it for them. Do you know it? How can you pray? Now, I have entered into it. I'm coming more. More and more. My innermost being is being enlarged. So that I'm seeing something that I never saw. Let me read what God says. Why must I bless in the Holy Ghost? Why should I spend time in the Spirit and bless Holy Ghost? November 1st, 2020, the Lord's message, praying in the Holy Ghost. I read this before, just about three weeks ago. Okay, 3 a.m., the Lord speaks. Go on and pray in the Spirit. Yes, you should persevere all the way. You must know that as you persevere, you will break through. I got them that guy Ramu Gagaza. Woo! As you persevere, not as you keep on going to church. As you persevere in blasting in the Holy Ghost. As you persevere in blasting the oh yes, God. I mean you all don't blast nothing. Jesus. I tell you. Why why do you make me just just burn like that? Because this is for you. It's yours. The Holy Ghost belongs to you. Yes, God. Amen. 
Let the Holy Ghost blast, blast Holy Ghost. Let your spirit and Holy Ghost join together and blast Holy Ghost. Says here. I'm going to read this short one. Okay, say, go on and pray in the spirit. Yes, you should persevere all the way. You must know that as you persevere, you will break through. This is how the apostle Paul walked until people thought he was crazy. And I told you how he said, the way we walk, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the way, verse 13, the way we walk, people think we are crazy. The Lord saw that. The Lord saw people were talking to thinking he was praying. Paul, don't mind them. You know, you are all right. You ain't crazy. <laughs> People think we're crazy here. But we are not crazy. But there's a power. There's a power that has taken possession of us. It's the power of God's love through the Holy Ghost. And I, I, I just get so mad. You know why I get so mad? Multitudes have been lied to for years. Sitting in the church. Useless in the hands of God. My goodness. And you got Holy Ghost? So here. <laughs> I said, <laughs> as you, you say here, all the way. You should persevere all the way. You must know that as you persevere, you will break through. This is how the Apostle Paul walked until people thought he was crazy. Do not worry about what people say about you. Go on and pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes, pray in the Spirit. This is the way of blessing, the way of peace, the way of love, the way of joy. Don't you understand why my servant Paul said, I thank my God, I thank my God, I thank my God, I talk them tongues more than you all. Is he crazy when he says that? No. He saw something. And he was thanking God for all the mercies of God. He isolated his father. I thank God. Nam shukuru mungu. Ah, nam shukuru. Nam shukuru mungu. Papa, 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 papa buwana. Ah, baba buwana, baba yesu. Nam shukuru mungu kwa, kwa mba mi, mi nasema kwa luga ngeni. Koliko nyenye nyote. Ah, baba mungu. Nam shukuru mungu. He, he blessing God. He said, my God and my God. I thank you that I talk in tongues more than you all. Yeah. And the Lord is saying, why should the Apostle Paul thank me for tongues? And God going to explain why. We've gone to church since Moses left Egypt. This end time church. Everything the church has to walk in, the church will walk in. Because there are all those who are useless in the hands of God will be put out like on the side. And God will raise up mighty men. Mighty women who are, who are led by the Spirit of God, filled with the Spirit of God, with the authority of Jesus, right? To bring the church where God wants the church to be. It says here, ah, don't you understand why my servant Paul said, I thank my God that I speak in tongues more than all of you? This is the way to walk with me. This is the way to walk with me. Oh, yes, God. Keep praying in the, in the spirit until you break through in the spirit. You hear me now? Listen, there's no lingering. Go. You want it? Go for it. I want every one of the brethren in Michigan to go for tongues, to go for it. You got it? Pray it and see something. Don't waste your time on useless pursuit. Spend your time on something that will benefit your spiritual, your spiritual growth. Get some Holy Ghost. Get, ah. It says here, uh, keep praying in the spirit until you break through in the spirit. You must keep on praying in the spirit. You have to pray in the spirit. That is the only way to walk. Oh, yes, God. To walk with me. The only way to walk with the Lord, you have to pray in the Holy Ghost until you realize that this is the way. Yeah, you see, I've been talking them tongues. I've been talking them tongues for so many years, 47 now. I've been talking them tongues. But now, it just dawned on me, this is the way. This is the way a man's supposed to walk with his God. Talking to God in the spirit. He that speaks a unknown tongue, what? Edifies himself. All right? All right? He don't talk to man. He talk to God. 
In the spirit, no man understands him, yet he speaks mysteries to God. All right, they will understand you in church, but how about house? How about when you are home? How about when you go outside to go to some, what is it, some, some, I don't know, some forest? Okay, go there, go pray. Go there, go to some bush and go and pray. And talk Holy Ghost. Oh, my Lord. <coughs> Book is right. Mama. <coughs> Mama, get me a little water, please. <coughs> Brethren, I love you. Listen, if you don't talk tongues, fine. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's your business. But don't come and say that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, Pastor, uh, can, can, can you uh, explain this word to me? Can I explain what word? Talk some tongues and get revelation in your heart. <laughs> Touch some tongues and get the understanding spirit, understanding spirit, Amen. wisdom. Thank you. You see, spirit wisdom, spirit understanding, all right, spirit knowledge, all right, comes from God through his spirit. What did Jesus say? When the Holy Ghost comes, it will lead you to church so that you can sing in the choir and teach Sunday school. Is that, what, is that what Jesus said about his Holy Ghost? He will lead you into all truth. So how does he lead you if you don't bless Holy Ghost? How does the Holy Ghost reveal the truth in your being? Because the truth is for living. Holy Ghost reveals so you live it. So you walk in it. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not theory. It, it's, it's not intellectual stuff. That's why those who use their mind, they are, they are a mess. God, they cannot help the church. Can, can you imagine the, the Jesus coming down here and the Pharisees and all their doctrines and all their stuff and he's going to sit on the Pharisees so they can teach him? Quite and insane. <laughs> oh my Lord. See here. You have to pray in the spirit until you realize that this is the way. Yes, this is the way of liberty and freedom. Did you not sing the song? He's my liberty, he's my song. He say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, he said, yeah. Oh, yes, God. Uh, for he said, there, there is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness, my freedom. Oh, yeah, my freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. Yeah, and, and for my life is wholly bound to his. Oh, brother, says here, yeah. yes, this is the way of liberty and freedom you must be able to testify about this path what am i doing i'm trying to get you to experience to see that there's something i'm walking in there's something i have touched some realm i have touched and revelation coming to my being about the word holy god don't give some foolish revelation reality of the word ah this is the only path. Ah, yes, God. You must be able to testify about this path. This is the only path that leads you into the realms of the spirit. I can't even talk tongues. Wow. This is the only path that leads you into the realms of the spirit. And you've been going to church, church, church until you are Kentucky Fried Church. And you ain't got no life. You ain't got no living waters. Nothing flowing in your being. But you go to church every Sunday. You pay your tithes every Sunday. And you are, you are dying and, and, not, and not living. You ain't got no peace. You ain't got no love. You ain't got no joy. You ain't got no strength. But you go to church. You sing in the choir. Maybe for, for you, choir singing is the best. If the highest of your, uh, your spirit is choir singing. Why that Jesus came and sang in the choir? I said, Jesus came and sang in the choir. <laughs> Jesus came and sang in the choir. And the choir master said, Jesus, what, what, what part you want to play? Quite tanta and sang. <laughs> it has to be summa maxima and sang here. <laughs> now listen, oh my goodness, Lord have mercy upon us. You have to pray in the spirit until you realize that this is the way. Yes, this is the way of liberty, of freedom. You must be able to testify about this path. 
this is the only path that leads you into the realms of the spirit when you step in this path you do not look to the left or to the right when you step on that path you must go all the way to the heavenly realm oh lord 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 come for the gun that's that's where you end up brother you go in there the door is open for you to behold. Ooh, wow, Lord. Ooh, look at that. Look at the glory. Oh my God. I'm, 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 I'm crazy, yes. Take, take me for my craziness. But enjoy Jesus. Enjoy my Jesus with me. I must be crazy, but enjoy my Jesus. Ah, when you step in this path, you do not look to the left. Or to the right. When you step on that path, you must go all the way to the heavenly realm. You must be my witnesses about this pathway of praying in the spirit. Who will write? What am I doing now? Am I not testifying? Am I not bearing witness of its reality and the power thereof? What will you do? Will you testify about Holy Ghost? But how do you testify when you don't know Holy Ghost? Bless the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Some churches don't, don't want nothing to do with the Holy Ghost. That's that. They will go and stand before the Lord. And they will hear from him. Depart from me. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I gave my spirit for my children. And you refuse. You pastor, you told them there's no tongues. You told them there's no Holy Ghost baptism or anything. Or when you are born again, you, you got all the spirit you have. Quite an line. I know, I know, I know I have, I know people don't like me, but that's all right. I like them. I love them. He says, <laughs> you must be my witnesses about this pathway of praying in the spirit. Others have passed through this path and have borne witness. <laughs> who is the first witness? About Pastor Paul bearing witness. Ah, who, who bore witness? Uh, 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 what, 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 what was it? Charles Finney bore witness. John G. Lake bore witness. Kenneth Hagin, oh yes, God, no, more, no one bore witness of Holy Ghost tongue more than Kenneth Hagin. He, he, oh yes, God. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, Shambak, Shambak, ooh. <laughs> Shambak bore witness of the Holy Ghost. You must be my witnesses about this path we are praying in the spirit. Others have passed through this path and have borne witness about the glories of this path. My goodness. The glories. I'm going in there. Pastor Fee, come on. Let's, 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 let's penetrate. We are sitting down here. We are not church goers. We are people who seek to walk with the Lord and live for him. Ah, you must be my witnesses about this path. Or praying the Holy Ghost. Others have passed through this path and have borne witness about the glories of this path. You have to keep praying intensely until it seems like you can no longer go on because you feel pain in your ribcage. Oh, I like it. I, I felt it. I felt ribcage. Oh, yes, God. I said, I said okay, keep on. Keep on blasting. It will expand. And I said, go, 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 go. <laughs> brother i am crazy i like my craziness it's good folly <laughs> my lord i thank my god i thank god it says here <laughs> ah yes god uh, but still keep on you know, pressing on until yeah your your rib cage is a but still keep on okay where's the rib cage all right okay you, until you feel pain in your rib cage but still keep on pressing on until you go past the feeling of pain in your side and your inner life is enlarged and the good source <laughs> what did paul tell the college the, the, the corinthians oh ye corinthians be ye enlarged you are you are you are straightened in you you are too narrow your your inner being is not open open your 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 being so we can pour some stuff into you ah 
you said in your side and, and, and uh, go past the feeling of pain in your side and your inner life is enlarged for you to continue to pray in the spirit let me ask you again why will my servant Paul thank the Lord that he prayed in tongues more than the rest of the people have you observed the inner enlargement that took place in his being have you observed oh my goodness do you have ears to hear eyes to see see do you read listen one man one man start from romans first corinthians second corinthians all right galatians all right or the one man alone okay then then you you go to uh, 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 ephesians all right you go to uh, philippians you, you go to colossians you go, and go 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 all came through this man's being all of these revelations was poured through this man's being and where did he get it? the lord says the reason is that tongues all right is the channel of revelation it is the channel through which all revelations pass to your heart and your being. Ah, he said, have you observed the inner enlargement that took place in his being? Have you noticed the revelations that were poured into his being? So I say to you, do not underestimate this praying in the spirit. This is the pathway to spiritual growth. In your inner being do you hear me all of you you want your your your, your spirit being to what to grow to be enlarged it telling you the way and you go holy ghost leave out your slash slash sla. leave it out and guess <laughs> get some real holy ghost bro what is the amina oh hey, hey do lost what is the amina you don't agree with, with, with the word of God? You don't agree? That's why you are back. That's why you don't say Amina. What happened? What happened to Patricia? What happened to Brother Emmanuel? What I ain't hearing no Amina from you. Amina. Brother Emmanuel, Amina. Angela, Amina. Yes, God. Let me hear some big ones. Let me know that you are wrong. You getting the word in your being. He said here, oh, I like this. So I say to you, do not underestimate this praying in the spirit. This is the pathway to spiritual growth in your inner being. Keep praying until the flowers and the beauties oh, in the spirit start appearing in your being. You want to talk about, you see, you, you all find your beauty in your, in your painting of your, your faces and your waist and your trousers and your stuff. Is that beauty? Is that what you call beauty in the eyes of God? No. He said, God, bless Holy Ghost until the beauties of the flowers start to you know, grow up in your being. Ah, ah, the roses of God. Ah, yes, God. This is the pathway to spiritual growth. In your inner being, keep praying until the flowers and the beauties in the spirit start appearing in your being. Your whole life depends on this path being enlarged for you to walk on daily. Do not be weary. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost so you will truly start to appreciate the revelations that I will pour into your being. You, you understand? You understand it? He has revelations that he want to pour into, you, into our being. But if, if we don't keep on going, we're not going to enjoy it. We have to keep going so that we will enjoy what he pours into our being. Ah, this is the pathway of all spiritual blessings. The revelations of the riches of Christ. In your, did, Paul, did we not see Paul, Paul said in our, the riches, the unsearchable riches of Christ? Unsearchable? And yet he was told to search it. How how he search it? By the Holy Ghost. In Galabidagas, he can go to the gas. In Galabidagas, he can go to the gas. Yes, I'm going to pray in the Holy Ghost until I find it out. Oh, yes, God. He said, This is the pathway of all spiritual blessings. 
all spiritual blessings, the revelations of, of the riches of Christ in your inner being. Many of my children do not know this path. Are you among those who don't know this path? Are you am, among those who just go to church and don't, and sla, 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 sla? And how, how will you grow? How will you grow with your sla, sla? Come on now, get in there and get real Holy Ghost intercession. So here, many of my children, many of my children do not know this path because they do not pray in the spirit as they should. For their, for their sakes, you must go on praying in the spirit until you enter into the realm of revelations and visions as the apostle said. Revelations and visions, they are all at the end of this pathway. Oh my goodness. And you too, and then you too can bear witness of this way to others. So they too will learn from your testimony and be determined to pursue the path of praying in the spirit. Oh my goodness. This is the pathway that leads straight into the spirit realm and into the glories of the heavenly life. Oh my goodness. Who are we? Are we really smart kids of the Lord? He talking to us the pathway to the heavenly glories. Yes. I know you ain't going to do it, but I know I, you, you can't blame me yes. because I gave mine. I did all I can. This is the pathway that leads straight into the spirit realm and into the glories of the heavenly life. When you go all the way into the realms of the spirit, your life will be transformed. You hear that? You will not be the same. Your understanding will be quickened. And wisdom will flow into your being. Wait, wait, wait. Is there an Amina over here, Papa? <laughs> Pray in the spirit until the heavenly light bursts into your being. And the glory floods your soul. I, I, I won't go on no more. Because there's a lot here. Okay, but I, I just, you know, I just, you know, where? Okay, let this, here, 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 here. Well, maybe I'll say this. It's time to go. All right, all right, all right. All right, okay. All right, okay, here. It says, but I say to you to blast intensely as you go to, you know, to Michigan. You know, this one. This is, so you know, okay, here, tell everyone who will listen. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone who will listen. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone who will listen. We are listening. Are you among those who are going to listen? Yes. Or you are just on, on Zoom? Yes. But you can follow Zoom, Zoom, I'm Zoom. You, you, your being on, listen, your being on Zoom don't take you to heaven. It is your living the life after Zoom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was, was, Judas not, was Judas not in the very presence of God? Judas, in the very presence of God, brother, he was right there. Did, did Judas go some? Did Judas appear in heaven? <laughs> Tell everyone who will listen that they should blast in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. until they are liberated in the Spirit. Amen. You hear that? Yes, and the flowers of the Spirit's beauty spring forth in your being. Mm -hmm. and I pass a few, those, three, those, those three children, okay, you know, that tell the three children who have been offered to me that they should blast in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They should pray in the Spirit. Until the flowers of the spirit grow and flourish in their being. Yes, tell everyone you know that I say, this is the way to walk with me. So their inner life will flourish. You all, you all must prove to me. Hear the challenge from the Lord. You all must prove to me that you are truly serious when you say you blast in the Holy Ghost. You hear that? You say you bless the Holy Ghost. God said, I don't know about that. You got to prove to me. Mm -hmm. I must see you seriously at, you know, at work in the tongues. Yeah. As for me, I am still to be convinced 
by you that you truly mean business when you say you blush in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Pastor Fins, it's, it's, it's up to you now. <laughs> God says, show me that you talk tongues. Brother Dwayne, God says, show me that you talk tongues. Yeah, Sister Wanda, show, show God that you talk tongues. He's asking. Uh, sister, sister Elaine, he says, show me that you, you really talk tongues. Wow, what a challenge. <laughs> As for me, I am still to be convinced by you that you truly mean business when you say you blast in the Holy Ghost. You must prove that you truly know the value of praying in the Holy Ghost and the glories that can be poured into your being from truly praying seriously and intensely in the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine that? The question I ask you all is, why did my servant Paul thank me that he prays in the spirit more than everyone else? When he says, I will come to visions and revelations, how did he get to this realm where visions and revelations were poured into his being? And how was he caught up into the third heaven? Ooh, Zama, ooh. <laughs> Ooh, wow, brother. Me, I'm crazy. I don't, I don't see you all serious because I don't see no laughter in your mouth and you're serious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen to what the Lord is saying to you. Brother Dwayne, you, Einstein. <laughs> my goodness. This one. Anytime I read this thing, it just, it just does something to my body. It's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. The Lord is waiting yeah. for us to prove by our life's experience mm -hmm. in this pathway yeah. that yes, this is the truth. The Lord didn't lie to us. The apostle didn't lie to us. He thanked God for real because of what God poured in his being. It says here, um, I'm going, I will come to visit and, and and, and when he says, I will come to visions and revelations, how did he get to this realm where visions and revelations were poured into his being? And how was he caught up into the third heaven, into paradise? Have you noticed the depths of his knowledge of the riches of Christ, which he calls the unsearchable riches of Christ? Have you noticed unsearchable? Amen. But the guy got, got, got hold of it. He went down there. I said, Paul went down there to find out about the riches. Yeah. How did he go? In the Holy Ghost? I say, in the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Oh, people. Yeah. I, I, I ask you again, what will make a man of good standing? Hear that. I, I said, I ask you again, what will make a man of good standing in his community and nation come to consider everything society gave him and conferred on him as rubbish. What you make a man say that? All these things I count as dung. Paul said that. So why did he say that? Because he got hold of something. I said he got with hold of something that money couldn't give him. That like the, what, uh, his, his, uh, his, his traditional religion couldn't give him. His families couldn't give him. Nobody could give what he got when he came to Jesus. Right. Say right. so here. Uh, and how did he acquire what he calls the excellency of the knowledge of Christ? <laughs> uh, which far surpasses everything he possessed before. But, oh my Lord. Uh, uh, what is he? If, if, if you make me sad or about your refusal to grow, I ain't coming back no more. <laughs> Listen, if, uh, if you all make me sad by your, uh, your, your refusal to grow, and you ain't gonna this, this, do this Holy Ghost, then I'm, I'm not coming back no more, though you all, you all stay in Ghana and do your own stuff. Because I wanna see, you know, People, people won't follow you until they see that there's something you got in your being that they ain't got. People will not follow you just because you know you are nice. 
they follow because you got something in your being that speaks to them when you open your mouth. Amen. You got something they don't have. Amen. Pastors will listen to you when you talk. Come on, somebody grow up. Amen. I said, somebody grow up. Somebody, Pastor Charles, I'm waiting for you. Do loss, I'm waiting for you. Brother Emmanuel, I'm waiting for you. All my sisters, I'm waiting for you. Huh? Sister Beatrice, I'm waiting for you. Ah, Sister Deza, I'm waiting for you all to rise. Oh my goodness. Rise in the spirit of God. Amen. Oh my goodness. He says here, how did he acquire? How did he acquire what he calls the excellency of the knowledge of Christ? which far surpasses everything he possessed before. He said, listen, he received Christ. He received a new life. He received the riches of that life because he discovered the power of the Holy Ghost Spirit, right, intercession in his being through praying in tongues, which elevated his born again spirit. Listen, is that the, the process that happened to Paul? This is what the Lord is outlining here for us. How Paul was able to be caught up in the third heaven. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You want to hear it again? Yeah. Is that here? He received Christ. Mm -hmm. Have you received Christ? Mm -hmm. He received a new life. Have you? Mm -hmm. He received the riches of that life. Ah, that one, that one, question mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> question mark. Ain't no riches that, that we see. Come on, you got a little, a, little, a, little, a little taste of something. But Paul received the riches because he was hard to search into it. Okay? He received the riches of that life because he discovered the power of the Holy Spirit's intercessions in his being through praying in tongues, which elevated his born again spirit into the heavenly realm of Christ the heavenly realm of Christ's glory and his riches. He writes about being quickened together with Christ. Right? Ephesians chapter 2. I say Ephesians chapter 2. Paul writes about being quickened together with Christ, raised up together with Christ, and being made to sit in heavenly places, given a joint sitting together with Christ in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Have you been there? Are you there right now? No. But you go to church, sing in the choir. You pay your tithes. You sing songs. That's all your Christian life is all about. I'm sorry about that. Because if that's all there is, then brother, you lack, you, you are, you lack a lot. It says here, ah, together with Christ in the heavenly realm, in Christ, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Praying in the spirit is the pathway for beautiful things to flourish in your life. Ah, ah. And I've just read only on, on one part of it. Uh, brethren, I'm done. Both, two, both, 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 both prayers, Ch chapter one that we read and chapter three, the, the second prayer, I was going to ask you certain questions on, on the second prayer. Is Christ, has, has Christ ever settled down in your being? Since you began, you began this, the, the, this pathway, has Christ settled down in your being? <laughs> and then so that you are rooted in love with all the saints. So you can know what is the height and depth and length and width, oh yes God, of the love of God which passes all human understanding. Until you are filled with all the rest of God. <laughs> Brother, this process is amazing. We are not just go, told to just go to church. We love to go to church, sing in the choir, you know, be everything with the brethren. But when church is over, your job now starts. Your job starts of walking with Christ, blasting the Holy Ghost, making sure that you're seeking the Lord for your own soul to prosper. Yes. Brethren, 
There's nothing I can do. Okay, I've brought the word, opened the word. My life testifies that there's something in there. I say my own life testifies to you. I have, I'm your brother. I'm walking with you. You know me, right? You don't know me? <laughs> or you all don't know me? By now, you ought to know that this guy ain't, ain't, no, ain't, ain't, ain't no foolishness. He want reality. He want God. If you walk with me, you will, you will love God. You will love what I love. You will seek what I see. I seek God. I want to know God. And you too, you will want to know God too. That's all I can give you. I can help your desire to grow. Your desire for Christ to grow so that you go after Christ. Get to know him. He's your God. He's your Lord. He's your joy. He's your peace. He's your strength. He's your everything. Oh, what gift of grace. What gift of grace. In Jesus, my, uh, my, my Savior. All right. Brethren, we've come this far. It's time, Terry. I love you all. And I, I won't cease praying for you. I won't cease praying for each one of you. You are on my heart. Mm -hmm. I carry you as, as my Lord. Mm -hmm. But thank God that when I carry you, God enlightens my Lord. He takes it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. well, but who can carry you? <laughs> you, leave, you leave all your heavy load on, my, on me. You crush me. Mm -hmm. So I thank God that the, 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 the burden bearer himself dwells inside me. <laughs> hey. So when it's heavy, I just shift it onto the Lord. And I go free. Walking in the liberty of his love. Uh, Father God, we thank you for the word. Encouragement tonight. Char uh, charging us to keep on blasting the Holy Ghost. Father God, I, 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 seek, I seek your mercy on behalf of my brethren. That Lord, they will listen to you. That what you have cried out, Lord, into their ears. Lord, they will begin to cry after that. They will begin to say, God, we heard you. Father, we heard you. Help us now to bless Holy Ghost. Father God, give us the strength to persevere. This is what I'm asking for the brethren in Michigan. These are my brothers. I don't have none else but these ones that you have given unto me. Father God, I thank you. The Lord, they will listen to you. But God, they will honor you in their lives. Their life will not be so yo yo life, but the fruit of the Spirit will begin to appear in their life. And Lord, uh, help them to bless Holy Ghost. Encourage each one of them to pray in the Spirit. To pray more, two, three, four hours in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost until their inner life is enlarged. Yes, I God. thank you. Yes. I'm asking that the Holy Ghost will do that for them. Yes. Holy Spirit, you are the one that will Lord, raise up these, uh, these children of yours. Mm -hmm. Quicken them. Quicken them. And create the earnest yearning to blast in the Holy Ghost. Until they too are raised up in the spirit. According to the power that dwells in them. Lord I thank you. We come to the end oh God of the first week. The first weekend. Thank you Father God for what you are going to do. Coming this Friday. Saturday. Sunday. And Monday. Oh my God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For what you have prepared for us. We thank you in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Ah, oh, Pastor. Pastor Fields, Pastor Fields, Pastor. Pastor Fields. Oh, yes, God. Amen.